For those of us who aren't professional athletes, you have to be able to look at the height, weight, speed, and body compositions of guys who play in the NBA and legitimately wonder if they're the same species as us regular human beings. Some of those guys over the course of their careers have been able to completely transform their bodies from incredible athletic specimens to borderline Greek gods and others have gone from athletic thoroughbreds to complete opposite. Here are just some of the most dramatic NBA body transformations that we could find in both directions. But first, we here at Pro Sports appreciate every one of our subscribers and take pride in providing you with original content. And we want to remind you to click subscribe if you want all of the latest takes on everything NBA. We appreciate your feedback on our videos too, so leave a comment. LeBron James. It's amazing to watch how they relatively wiry basketball prodigy from Akron, Ohio evolved into one of the most extraordinarily gifted athletes, perhaps of all time. Already lauded for his NBA-ready body at the age of 18, James filled out to become one of the most devastating athletic forces that anyone can remember. Considering he checks in anywhere between 250 and 265 pounds over the course of the season, he's like a football defensive lineman that plays basketball. Giannis Antetokounmpo Giannis Antetokounmpo went from a wiry, spindly prospect from the Mediterranean country of Greece to the muscle-bound basketball prodigy known as the Greek Freak. After weighing less than 200 pounds when drafted in 2013, Antetokounmpo completely transformed his body through lots of weightlifting and boxing. He has put on 52 pounds and grew an inch since being drafted in 2013. Mike Bibby in 2018, the Sacramento Kings tweeted out a photo of Mike Bibby. From the neck up, he looked like the same guy, but from the neck below, he looked more like a middleweight boxer as opposed to a retired NBA point guard. Bibby went from seemingly regular dude to someone who could moonlight as a bouncer at a nightclub. Victor Oladipo after being traded from the Oklahoma City Thunder to the Indiana Pacers, Victor Oladipo totally overhauled his diet. His primary focus was on cutting out fried foods, upping his protein intake, and drinking a gallon of water a day. In only two months, he went from having a soft exterior to shredded abs. He lost 15 pounds in 24 days. Dwight Howard when he was with the Houston Rockets, a team physician stated that Dwight Howard was consuming the equivalent of 24 Hershey bars a day. The nutrition staff actually treated him like an addict to sugar and were able to get him down to as low as 3% body fat thanks to reducing all of his sugar intake. Lonzo Ball After realizing the wear and tear it would put on his body when playing against grown men, Lonzo Ball worked out to put on a bunch of muscle after his rookie season. He stated that the extra bulk helped him in both attacking the basket and guarding bigger players. He put on 15 to 20 pounds of weight, mostly muscle, between his rookie and sophomore seasons. Kevin Love After admitting to battling bouts of being overweight when recovering from nagging injuries in Minnesota, Kevin Love began working with renowned nutritionist Dr. Philip Gogila in Los Angeles. At one point, Love was even aiming to have six-pack abs for an ESPN photo shoot. He revamped his diet and fitness when joining Cleveland, knowing he would play in a faster-paced offense. Anthony Davis after weighing in around 220 pounds when he became the number one overall pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, Anthony Davis has steadily worked to put muscle onto his frame. By his fourth season in the NBA, the 6'10 Davis was up to 253 pounds while maintaining 10% body fat. He has put on 33 pounds of weight, mostly muscle, since being drafted. Mark Gasol even during his early years in the NBA, center Mark Gasol was paunchy by most standards, especially in comparison to his brother, Pau Gasol. After arriving in Memphis, he worked closely with the team's training staff to stay healthy. His dietary regimen includes periods of fasting as well as lots of salmon, vegetables, and sweet potatoes. He lost nearly 100 pounds since graduating high school. Sean Kemp Sean Kemp went from one of the most exciting and spectacularly athletic players in the NBA to one of the fattest and most depressing. After forcing a trade to the Cleveland Cavaliers in 1997 after he could not get the Seattle Supersonics to sign him to an extension of his liking, Kemp's career turned for the worse as his weight skyrocketed during the NBA's 98-99 lockout. He went from weighing in the neighborhood of 230 pounds while in Seattle to close to 260 pounds while in Cleveland. 
The Cavaliers, after handing Kemp the extension he sought, even offered to sweeten the deal, no pun intended, by hiring a nutritionist and a personal chef to help Kemp with his weight gain. However, former members of the organization stated that Kemp simply lacked the discipline to get his weight under control. He only played one more season in Cleveland after that. Derek Coleman Derek Coleman was always known for his maddening combination of generational basketball talents and a total lack of anything close to a work ethic. As a result of the latter, he battled bouts of not being able to keep his weight in check. In his book, Loose Balls, Easy Money, Hard Fouls, Cheap Laughs, and True Love in the NBA, former New Jersey Nets teammate Jason Williams suggested that Coleman's entourage should have told Coleman how the latter needed to start working out and lose some of that blubber. Former New Jersey Nets teammate Jason Williams said Derek Coleman looked like a fat old elephant. Ouch. If you're enjoying this video, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos including the 10 times NBA players fought outside the court and the 9 times NBA players were caught cheating with a teammate's wife, both of which will be up soon. Jahidi White a member of the Georgetown University team that featured Allen Iverson and Othella Harrington, Jahidi White played seven mostly meaningless seasons in the NBA, but most people remember him for his girth, which was the only thing that really progressed as far as his professional basketball career. All you need to do is go back and look at the stretch marks on his upper shoulders. He was cast as an alien creature on the Sci-Fi Channel's TV movie Showdown at Area 51. Not joking. Shaq. The Diesel, Superman, The Big Aristotle, The Big Shaqtus, whatever nickname you called him, Shaq was always larger than life, in more ways than one. When he arrived in Orlando, he was an athletic freak who could run the floor like a power forward, but possessed the power of a professional wrestler. But after his career took off and he left town for Los Angeles, his body mass index began to grow as much as his NBA success and his star power. He reportedly put on about 30 pounds between when he first arrived in Orlando and his 30th birthday, but many believe that number is actually much greater. Bryant Reeves Bryant Reeves looked like a player hungry for success early in his NBA career. His rookie numbers grew from 13.3 points and 7.4 rebounds per game to 16 points and just under 8 rebounds per game in his second season. But after signing a six-year, $65 million extension with the then Vancouver Grizzlies, the only thing that grew was his waistline. He reportedly showed up to one Grizzlies training camp being 40 pounds overweight. Former teammate Brent Price once joked that Reeves should no longer be nicknamed Big Country, but rather Big Continent. Michael Sweetney Michael Sweetney came out of Georgetown University in 2003. He was a 6'8", 262-pound power forward with a soft touch. Coming out of a school that produced legendary big men like Patrick Ewing, Alonzo Mourning, and Dikembe Mutombo. Five years later, he was on his way out of the NBA, barely playing for his second NBA employer, the Chicago Bulls, after his weight shot up over 400 pounds. Eddie Curry Lastly, we have Eddie Curry. The Chicago Bulls, who drafted Eddie Curry in 2002, believe that Curry might have been predisposed to a heart condition known as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It is entirely possible that this condition severely limited his conditioning and overall ability to stay in. His stats and overall ability continued to decrease as his weight became more and more of an issue for the rotating cast of coaches that he played for. Scott Skiles once said that Curry needed to actually jump if he wanted to be a better rebounder, and Mike D'Antoni openly said that Curry would need to lose weight if he wanted to play for him. In 2009, even after losing 30 pounds, a Knicks trainer once said that it was delusional to think that Curry would ever return to his listed playing weight of 285 pounds. Did we miss anybody? Who is the most shocking to you? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos.